Hey, welcome back to the channel. What's up, baby? Today, I want to show you three tips that you can use when I've, I've seen the film now in Serum. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So hopefully you don't know about these. I know Serum is kind of an older synth now, but there's some stuff that I've learned recently or some stuff that I just think is useful. So let's go ahead and start just the initialized preset here and we'll go through kind of more known to less known. So the first thing that you can do is I know Serum doesn't have a automatic modulator or vibrato like Massive does. Usually we'd have it somewhere on this. If I recall, I haven't used Massive in a long time, but I remember really liking that vibrato feature. Now, what you can do in Serum is there are a couple ways you can do it. You can either drag your LFO to the chorus pitch. You can have it go one way and then of course you can have it just do something like this something like that or what you could do is if we go ahead and just initialize a preset and then you can do the same thing within your matrix so if we do source we do lfo we can do the amount so let's just say we went at 12 we can lower this back down for the destination we can have it under our master tune No. And then, of course, you could have something like this where it moves around a little bit more. So you can get vibrato done that way and start adding more variation to your leads, whatever it might be. Nice. Now, another one that I thought was cool is let's just take a look at our actual LFO here. We see we have these two curves here. What you can actually do, let's say we draw something a little bit more complex than this. So it doesn't really have to be in time or anything, but let's just say we draw something like this. Okay. What you can also do is if one of these dots, instead of having to manually adjust each one of these, what you can do is if you hold option or I believe it's all on windows, you can actually adjust all the curves at the same time so you can get a cool effect. So let's just have an initialized preset here so we can see what we can kind of make with this. So maybe we just drag some units in there and then I'll drag the wavetable, say to our warp mode, we can do like a bin and then let's do something like this, drag a couple curves in here. Maybe just put it on a level so we can hear it more. And if I wanted to drag the alt, maybe all the way up. Maybe we want it all the way down so it's sharper. So it's an easier way than having to go in and automatically adjust all of these. And that's actually something I just learned recently. I wish I would have known about this instead of having to do all of this and make sure that it's perfect. And now the last one, and I wish I would have known this sooner, is using the compressor as a limiter. So here, if you actually adjust this, you can obviously have it as a multi-brand, which you might want to use anyways. But what you can also do is, let's just say for this sound that we're working on here, or that we have open at least, what if we had distortion here? And then what if for our filter, we had this all the way up too? Something like that, right? So what we can do with this compressor is if we actually take, let's just turn the threshold somewhere like this. What we can actually do is if we drag this ratio all the way up, you can see that it actually becomes a limiter. So instead of this being a compressor, we have the limiter actually built in here. Even though it's not in the tab, we can use that compressor as a limiter. So a pretty cool effect to have it built in without it being too obvious. So those are a couple tricks that I found within Serum that have helped me in my sound design and have just made things a little bit easier. So I hope you learned something from today's video. If you already knew all these effects, let me know in the comments, but if you didn't, maybe leave a like on the video. But with all this being said, thank you for watching and we will see you again on the next one.